Hi guys, Vertus Education here with episode 10 of the Crying Gym Free SDK Beginner Tutorial Series. And in this episode, we're going to be showing you how to create roads inside of CryEngine 3. So for the most part, most of you will be thinking that you can simply just go ahead and texture the environment with some kind of road texture. However, that's not necessarily going to get you the effect that you want, not without a lot of work anyway. So having said that, it's not going to bend properly, it's not going to rotate and so on and so forth. However, CryEngine actually provides us with a really great system uh, for creating roads. So the way this system works is that it essentially allows you to place a bunch of key points inside of your scene and then from there uh, the road material is then essentially uh, projected on top of that. Now we also get uh, the ability to play around with a bunch of settings for the road which is really great so we can change the width, border width, priorities, materials and we can even align the uh, the height map from the terrain to the road uh, similar to this. So if I go ahead and press this button you'll see what I mean it allows you to make roads really quickly and it even saves you a lot of time in terms in terms of uh, terrain sculpting so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do all of this so let's go ahead and uh, get started so to start off I'm just going to go ahead and get back to the original level now for the most part whenever you're creating roads uh, beforehand I advise that you plan out exactly where you want those roads to be so uh, the best way to do that is probably just to make some kind of rough texture pass uh, outlining pretty much where you want that uh, road texture to be. So when I open up the level in a second, uh, the original level, you'll see that I have pretty much done that. I have gone ahead and done a quick uh, texture pass on that. Uh, so for example, I have made out my little roads here, you can see the texture on it and so on and so forth. The reason for planning it out beforehand is uh, just to avoid any confusion when you are actually going ahead and uh, creating your roads. Also keep in mind there is a system similar to this for rivers but we'll get to that in the next video. So to start off let's go ahead and uh, go, in uh, go to the objects tab in the roll up bar go to uh, miscellaneous and then go to roads now inside of your 3d scene I advise that you quickly navigate to the uh, beginning of the road in your level and then press roads once you've done that you'll have the roads panel open and from there you can start creating your road and also you'll see uh, over your cursor you'll have the free axes uh, and it will also allow you to start placing your road to start it off just go ahead and click uh, wherever the start point is and then once you've done that, you can just go ahead and, uh, whoops, just delete that quickly. So once you've gone over to Objects, Miscellaneous, and then Roads, you can just go ahead and click to make the very first point in your road. And you can see as I move the mouse away from that now, uh, the road is starting to take place. So the way that we're going to be building this is that we're going to have a whole bunch of different key points. So once you click the first one, go to your second key point and uh, go and just keep making your road just simple as continuously clicking so I'm just going to make myself a very brief quick road here uh, that I can uh, use to go all through my level now don't worry about accuracy too much in terms of the road as we do actually have the ability to move all of the key points uh, later on and that's not just a couple seconds after for example if you find a mistake you can even come back say you know a couple weeks after you made the level you've changed the terrain and so on and so forth it's a really great system uh, about it's a really great thing about the system and cry engine uh, being that you can actually modify all the key points and the settings so I'm almost done here placing my road but you can pretty much see how uh, a road is being created with these different key points so when you're done uh, creating your road as I will be in any second now all you gotta do is just go ahead and uh, double click to finish off your road so let's just go ahead and do that it's gonna make one last key point and double click 
and our road is now finished the cursor will be unlocked and most importantly we should be able to fly around and take a quick preview of our road now if you do find any uh, mistakes uh, in our road we can go ahead and edit some of these key points so if you want to edit some of the key points for example this one here you can see it goes into the grass and the trees a little bit here all we got to do is just go to shape editing press edit and then click that key point and then all we got to do is just simply drag it and that is it now if it doesn't necessarily let you drag it on the axes that you want it to all you got to do is simply just change the axes at which it works on by default it is set to follow terrain and snap to objects which is probably best however if you want to you can just set it to x y or z we'll be taking a look at that in a moment so the next thing you need to know is that you can also delete key points uh, simply by double clicking them. So I'm just going to quickly find a key point that I can delete and it won't cause any errors. For example this one here, I'm just going to quickly delete it, double click on it and you will see the uh, the road will automatically re uh, reload and will merge between from the to uh, from the point to the left and to the right in the road and will uh, blend pretty seamlessly we can also add extra points if we want to just by pressing control and then just clicking and then we can just uh, drag that around as we so please uh, as uh, normal that's pretty much all you need to know about that there's also one awesome cool feature uh, that you might want to take into consideration uh, being that you can actually make the terrain's height map adjust to the road so for example if I just go ahead quickly and put a key point here and then if I drag this up a little bit so I'm gonna drag this up on the z-axis and then it's gonna quickly drag and then just move that up sorry the reason it's not letting me drag that up there is because I don't have shape editing enabled it's gonna make sure I click that and then I can drag it up making sure I've got the right axis selected so having said that I'm just going to make sure it's the uh, Z axis as I can see in my little preview in the bottom left here and then just drag it up and you can see the road is now above the water level now this little button down here a line height map is essentially just going to uh, make the terrain go up to that level uh, as you'll see in a second so if I go ahead and press align height map it will automatically generate some new terrain and boom it will be and it will still be projected directly onto it however if you don't want that it will simply just project it uh, to the nearest terrain pretty much straight underneath it so there's also a bunch of settings we can play around with uh, for this so the most important one being uh, width we can change the width of the road so for example I want to do I can change it 10 make it really wide if we want something like vehicles going down it or if it's just like a little footpath you may only want it to be something like a 2, 3 or even just a 4 or whatever it was by default so I'm going to be keeping it pretty much how it is uh, by default which was around 5 now the next setting we can play around with is border width this is essentially just the border between the road itself and then uh, the gap as you can see here so if I go ahead and set the border width to 10 and press align height map we get a little bit more of an edge here so let's just go ahead and do that again set that to 15 which should be uh, taking it out about there let's press align height map and you can see it just gives us lots and lots of width on the side to play around with normally you won't want that much so just make sure you uh, play around with that to get the right setting for you now the next setting we can play around with is the material which is probably also one of the most important settings so to set a material for the terrain all we gotta do is go over to where it says MTL here just press no custom material and then all we gotta do is just go ahead and select one so go down to material materials and then navigate to whatever material you want to assign for it so in this case I'm just going to go to materials roads and then I'm going to use the forest trail material now just keep in mind you can use the previews by hovering over these but I found the one that I want so I'm just going to right click it in the material editor and then just press uh, assign to selected objects and instantly you will notice it has been assigned to the terrain and you can now see that following throughout the entire uh, road throughout the level which is pretty cool so let's go over some of the uh, last few settings that we have available to us 
So the next setting we have available to us is view distance ratio. This essentially just allows us to change uh, the distance at which the uh, the road can be viewable. So if I set this to something like 4 by default, uh, sorry, 0 by default, you can only really see the terrain up close. Uh, and once you get far away from it, you know, those little points start to get deleted. The reason for this being uh, to save on performance. Having said that, when it comes to roads and stuff, it's best that you leave it to a number that's nice and high so the player can always see it. Now, roads aren't necessarily very... Um, uh, performance intensive, so you don't really need to worry about it, it's just essentially uh, a material which is projected onto the terrain. So there's also the sort priority which essentially allows you to change the priority of the road. So for example if you have multiple different roads you can change which one will be going on top. So for example you've got crossroads and one of them is used more you know obviously you're going to have that one on top. Feel free to play around with that as you so please. So that's pretty much all the settings you need to know about that. Also, you need to keep in mind that you can actually uh, individually set the width for a certain uh, key point so you can make certain bits larger, seeing as not all roads are going to be the same width in the same places. To do that, all you've got to do is just uncheck default width, uh, width here, select a point, and then just where it says width over here, you can set it to something like 10, and you can see it will get wider here. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about uh, roads for now. Feel free to experiment with them and put them into your level. Thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.